Hecha Kucha format is new to me, so I watched some last year's presentations. I noticed that many were about boat designs for wealthy urban people who want to take their wealthy Fifty Shades of Grey lifestyle onto the water, no expense spared. This philosophy is totally alien that of myself and James Warren. I grew up in Amsterdam, in a family where boats were the centre of our life. Simple small boats that took us sailing at weekends and holidays. In this way, I absorbed the philosophy of simple camping style sailing. My father instilled in me and my two sisters a joy in being on the water, sailing boats without needing the luxuries of city life. In 1963, he was the first man to buy a Waarschip 600. This was an elegant, light displacement design built in clinker plywood construction. It was these drawings and sketches that attracted him to this boat. This first Waarschip design was beautifully simple and well designed and its design philosophy was added to my early life experience. When I was 14, my father took our family to visit James Warren, the catamaran designer, during a camping holiday. We came away with a set of plans for a 22-foot catamaran. The building of this boat kept us in touch with James. It gave me my first experience of boat building. As a girl, I had talents in art as well as in mathematics and science. After finishing high school, I was at a crossroads of where to go. I took the easier option of art school. But two years later, the offer of going ocean sailing with James Warren on his tahini decided me. I was off across the Atlantic. This was the beginning of my adult life and leading to me becoming a boat designer, a lifestyle and job in which I could use all my talents, sailing, drawing, boat building, making things, designing and mathematical analysis. James Warren is the well-known pioneer of catamaran design. His early catamaran designs were based on studies in museums and libraries. He was one of the first experimental marine archaeologists. In recent years, he's been expanding his views on the history of watercraft and the early origins of mankind. What most people do not realize is that the watercraft is one of man's earliest artefacts. Modern man reached Australia more than 50,000 years ago by watercraft because there was always a water gap, a gap no other mammal managed to cross. James and I believe watercraft and living on and by the sea is therefore part of our genetic makeup, or as Carl Jung would put it, it's one of the archetypes of our subconscious. It explains modern man's wish to go to the seaside and to go missing about in boats. Our boat designs try to fulfill this subconscious need by encouraging, through design, a lifestyle suitable for sea living, using simplicity as its basis. This allows people to get in touch with the archaic sea nomad in their subconscious. It does, however, require a strong design discipline. By 1980, West Epoxy had started to become available for home boat builders. After meeting Meet Gugin at the 1979 Hiswa Symposium in Amsterdam, James decided to use it for his new designs. The Tiki 21 was the first major new design in this range. In 1982, Cruising World magazine gave it a prize in a competition for a trailable gun holder. It was designed for people who had never built before, so the method of construction had to stay simple and consistent throughout the build. Building a catamaran hull in stitching glue is easy and straightforward. Building a light hollow wooden mast or lightweight cross beams requires much more careful design work to keep the construction as simple and the need for expensive tools to a minimum. From this seminal design, we developed a whole range of new wood epoxy designs from 17 foot to 65 foot, all keeping to the strict discipline of simplicity and keeping cost low. 
One way of achieving this is to make every piece of cabin furniture a structural strength element, thereby saving weight and cost. Other disciplines we consistently adhere to are modest freeboard, never higher than 13%, slim hulls of around 12 to 1 or slimmer to reduce wave drag, and high stability, achieved through low rig proportions. With the Tiki 21 in 1981, we developed a new wing sail rig. This rig combines efficient aerodynamics with great simplicity. It predates the latest high-tech square-headed sail rigs, which look similar, by nearly 20 years and is highly popular with Warren Catamaran owners. This approach to design has been very successful. Two years ago, James received the Award of Merit from the Ocean Cruising Club for having sold 10,000 sets of building plans and having given all these people the opportunity to sail the oceans. At the moment on my drawing board is a new lines drawing for an improved Pi 63 Mark II, which will be built in the USA for day charter use. I'm also working on the finishing details of this Island of 55 design that's being professionally built in the Philippines. Our next major project is developing James' latest dreamboat, the MANA 24. It will be produced as an IKEA-style flat pack kit with all wooden parts CNC cut. A Greek group are already considering it for a charter fleet in the Ionian Sea. This style of designing, based on the philosophy of the sea, may not give the highest financial gains, but has led to enormous emotional satisfaction and friendships throughout the world.